Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making lamb curry. So let's go ahead and get started and go over the ingredients. Right here I have a pound and a half of lamb, bone-in lamb. And what I did was I pressured my meat before. Now if you don't like to pressure your meat, you can always start with fresh meat. And right here I have about a cup of the reserve liquid from the pressure cooker. And then let's go over our wet ingredients. Right here I have a tablespoon of tomato paste, a tablespoon of ginger, a tablespoon of garlic, about eight of curry leaves, one chili pepper with the seeds in, three cloves of garlic, minced, one onion, and one tomato. Let's go over the dry ingredients. I have a tablespoon of Madras curry powder, a teaspoon of chili powder, one cinnamon stick, half a teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of black pepper, two teaspoons of salt, and half a teaspoon of garam masala, and two tablespoons of cooking oil in my pot here. So I just started my stove here, and I've got two tablespoons of cooking oil, and I like to use canola. When my oil is hot enough, I'm going to add in my onions, my tomatoes, um, pretty much all my wet ingredients, and saute it in the oil. And then as soon as my onions become translucent, I'll add in my dry ingredients. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you all the steps to making this lamb curry. So my pot is ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in my onions. I'm not gonna add in the chili pepper, the garlic, the curry leaves, the crushed ginger, the crushed garlic, and the tomato paste until my onions and tomatoes have cooked down a little bit. One thing about cooking a curry of any type, whether it's chicken curry, beef curry, lamb curry like I'm cooking today, the variations are tremendous. There's so many different ways that you can make a curry. So just because I'm telling you these are the ingredients that I'm using doesn't mean you have to cook it that exact same way. If maybe you try it and you think, well, I don't like the dark bar of masala, maybe I'll just not use that next time, that's perfectly okay. I can see my onions are about halfway there. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in the rest of my wet ingredients. I am gonna add in about a tablespoon of my water, or more like my lamb stock from the pressure cooker. I know that I put raw garlic in here, but I also like the tanginess from the garlic paste, so that's why I did add a tablespoon of the garlic paste in here, as well as the ginger. Now that my tomatoes have cooked down, and my onions are translucent, I'm gonna go ahead and add in all of my dry ingredients. The doors are open and I am sure the neighbors can smell this by now. And the tomatoes and it smells amazing 
I am going to put the top on here and let it simmer for a couple of minutes. I am going to go get another cup of that lamb stock because I think I'm going to want more liquid in it because I still haven't even added the lamb in yet and it doesn't look like it has enough liquid in it. So I'll be right back. So here I have about two ladles of my lamb stock. I'm just going to give my sauce another mix. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add in my lamb. And just give that a good stir. mixed together in my curry here I am going to add the rest of my lamb stock into the pot I'm going to cover it and I'm just going to let this go until my meat is to the tenderness that I want and the reason why I did pressure my meat before is I do want it to hold its shape so by pressuring it I know that I'm flash cooking it for 10 minutes before I need to sit here and wait for it to boil to get to that tenderness test for salt oh the salt is perfect I'm not going to add any more salt to this I'm going to turn the fire down to as low as I can get it and just let it simmer for about maybe 10 more minutes and then my curry is going to be complete. So my curry has been boiling for the past 10 minutes or so and it's done. So you can see the sauce and the lamb and I do want to taste a piece of the lamb to see if it's seasoned well and if the meat is tender enough. And the easiest way to tell is by trying to cut it with your fork. That's perfect. Right there. Mmm. You can taste all the spices coming through. And that cinnamon stick gave it the right amount of flavor to balance it all off. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe and try it out and tell me what you think. Bye guys.